she's a very loud eater. What makes your garden grow water and sunshine? What makes your spirit grow knowing that she'll be mine? Tater bug, tater bug. you guys it is Thursday and I told you guys that I would be sharing my uh, greenhouse update with you guys I also asked for suggestions for like a theme for Thursday and um, several of you said green thumb Thursday which is catchy but the first person that gave a suggestion I really really liked it and it was thriving Thursday and I think uh, thriving can encompass a, a thriving garden um, it can also encompass other things. I'm gonna st stay with thriving, or maybe it can be the thriving Green Thumb Thursday. Well, it's a mouthful, but still. Oh, oh, before I show you the greenhouse, I have to show you guys this. Jenny Pratt from Pratt Family Homestead tagged me in a photo on Facebook and said, this is so you, and I saw it and I said, I have to have that, and I don't normally do that. Um, especially since we have to be really careful with our money, but it's handmade. It's perfect. It was beautiful and it was very reasonably priced. Is this not the cutest apron you have ever seen? This was, for those of you who went to the Great Appalachia Homestead Conference last year, then you probably remember Miss Paulita who had a uh, um, she had a booth set up. She was selling aprons and a lot of other handmade things. She's the one who made this. I'm going to put a link in the description box below to her Facebook page. And it's called Favorite Things Gift Collection by Pauletta. I think, or is it Pauletta? I think it's Pauletta. Um, designed and handmade by Miss Pauletta. And I absolutely love it. It is the cutest. But look, it's got green rick rack. It's got this green piping. It's got a pocket. I love the sash. It is just, I adore this apron. So, uh, anyway, I wanted to show that to you really quick, but it's got veggies all over it. It's so cute. Okay, so it's not quite time to open the shade yet to move the greenhouse in front of it because that shade, this shade is a blackout shade and the windows are horrible. They're, they're very drafty. So I really have to wait until the sun is shining in and letting in heat before I can um, move the greenhouse in front of it. So the greenhouse is like all of my seeds are doing good, really, really well, but the problem, they're getting too leggy and I'm, I may have to break down and get, I may have to get some grow light. I don't really remember having this problem last year, but I started them, I started my seeds later last year. Anyway, all right, so I'm gonna get this opened up and, and sh I keep like, show you my ear. Um, and my hair is being wonky. Okay, so I'm gonna get the uh, greenhouse opened up and show you what's going on inside. All right, here we go. Okay, you guys, at Aunt Georgia, back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, these are really leggy. Like they're really tall. They're kind of start to slant over. Um, and it's from trying to get to the sun. That's why that's why a lot of gardeners use grow lights and they keep it they keep it really close to the sprout and it's just so the um, the stalks can get strong and they can, you know, grow at their at the correct pace. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do about this just because I don't have grow lights and I don't know if I can make that expense yet. But anyway, so back there is the uh, broccoli rob. Then here we have all of the tomatoes, the pear, the black, the cherry, the hillbilly. And then this row right here is the basil and it all came up. Back here I've got banana peppers that have sprouted. Um, over there are the Brussels sprouts. Uh, here are the Cherokee purple tomatoes and the Roma tomatoes and you can see that these are also Doing really well. Okay, so there are the onions. Uh, all of the bell peppers have come up Okay, so here are um, 
our herbs that I planted this past Saturday. You can see there's the time and it is really coming up. Stop Georgia. Right behind it is the lemon balm and right behind it is the large leaf basil. Um, don't have any of the flat Dutch cabbage yet, which you know, that's going to take a little while. Okay. So back here, where are we at? There's the oregano down there and it's trying to come up. Um, but none, none of the asparagus has popped up yet, which again, that's going to take a couple of weeks. Okay. So all of those are doing good. I'm definitely going to have to thin these out. The seeds were very small, so I just had to do a good sprinkle. Okay. And then down here, I have marigolds. The nasturtiums obviously have not popped up yet. Well, it looks like I've got, is that one trying to come up? you see that? Yeah. Looks like I got one trying to come up right there. Awesome. Okay. So that is that. Okay. So that's it on the greenhouse. Getting a little leggy. Hopefully we can remedy that before it's too far gone. But um, other than that, I'm pretty pleased with the progress. Um, I do have a couple of other things left to start. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay guys, I wanted to show you really quick my Baker Creek seed haul. It's a very small haul and I didn't get everything that I ordered, which the rest of my order, which is just one pack, um, should be here soon. So um, these are things that in my garner didn't have in his store. Um, I would much rather buy it from him, just saying, 99 cents compared to $3. But I have been to Baker Creek. They are an awesome family owned company. Um, and their setup is so cool. If you've never been there, I'm going to throw an I card, uh, up in the corner over here where you can see, um, when my family went, when you pull up to Baker Creek, you actually pull up to the dude's house, which is really amazing. And then like off to the to the right it's like a little little house on the prairie town i mean it's just it's so cool it's so cool it's got like an apothecary and a general store and a uh and a restaurant and it's so so cool and the gardens are phenomenal and i was trying to see the guy that actually showed us showed us around his name is dave and you see him all over the baker creek website and a lot of their um marketing materials I mean, and he was the guy, he just, he like saw us and he was like, Hey, do you guys want a tour? We're like, sure. And yeah, and he was so nice. He showed us like the packing area and anyway, it was super cool. So Baker Creek is also a family owned company. Um, and really some really fantastic people. So, um, if you can't get everything from MI Garner that you want, I highly recommend Baker Creek. Okay. So from Baker Creek, I purchased some uh, rosemary. And again, this is gonna be for my medicinal herb garden as well as having herbs to, you know, for the kitchen. Um, but yeah, I really want to, I actually signed up for a free herb, uh, medicinal herb class. It's online and I'm really excited about it. Reformation Acres, who I love and adore. Um, <laughs> I, have, I have loved that blog since I started gardening. It's just, she's one of my favorites. Um, anyway, she shared it on her Facebook about this um, free medicinal herb garden, uh, or this free medicinal herb class. And so I signed up for it and I'm really, really looking forward to it. And um, you pretty much decide what herbs it is that you want to study. So I'm going to pick the ones that I'm growing so I can learn more about them. Anyway, rosemary. Okay, if you've never had rosemary, olive oil, black olive bread, because it is so good. Okay, this one we are really excited about trying, especially my son. He seems to be pretty excited to try this, but we are going to grow peanuts. I just got one pack. Anytime I do something for the first time, I generally try to do a small amount so that way I can learn about what I'm doing and not get carried away. So we're just doing a one pack. Um, and this is going to be fun. So hopefully we'll have some to roast and maybe a little, make a little batch of peanut butter. Um, cause I want my kids to see the process from beginning to end. And I'm really, really excited about this. So basically, um, how a peanut grows, this is really interesting. You, when you plant the peanut, um, out of it will grow 
a plant, obviously. The plant will bloom. It'll have uh, flowers on it. When the flowers die, these little, uh, that look like alien-like probes grow out of it and go straight down to the ground. And those probes are called pegs. That's the correct name of it. Um, anyway, and the pegs will grow straight down and push themselves down into the dirt. And then at the bottom of that peg is where the peanuts will form. So really interesting. I can't wait to see that in action. That's going to be fun. The pack of seeds that I that wasn't in my order was a uh, calendula, which is also a um, medicinal plant, and uh, it's also very pretty. And so can't wait to get that. Um, and then Baker Creek also sent me a free pack of seeds, and they sent me the tomato black vernis. I can't pronounce that word. I don't know how you say it. Vernissage. Vernissage. But anyway, it's these little tomatoes. And um, they're considered a black tomato. And they get up to two ounces. And they look really cool. So um, anyway, really excited about these. Okay, so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the greenhouse update as well as my Baker Creek seed haul. Even though it was so tiny. But still, really excited. And I hope you've enjoyed my apron. Is this not the cutest apron? I love it so much. And I love the green rick rack. It was so cute. Okay. All right. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Until next time. Hey, thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to share it with your friends, pin it on Pinterest, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, and there's also a subscribe button down there. So if you haven't clicked it already, be sure to do that. Uh, that way you don't miss any of the videos that I put out. Uh, we talk about gardening here, frugal living, homemaking, homeschooling. You know, I cook the occasional food, make the occasional craft. So if you don't want to miss any of it, be sure to click subscribe. Okay, that's it.